In this video, we are talking about this error saying that there was an error in running the selected code generator. Or I would suggest this video if you are stuck with an error while creating your first controller. Along with applying the discussed solutions in this video, I strongly advise reading the video description to see if there are any corrections or updates to the discussed topics. Please let me know your feedback so that I can provide a better solution next time. First of all, I'm going to give you a quick solution to this problem for selected .NET frameworks which are the recent frameworks at the time of making this video. If the quick solution didn't work for you, don't lose your motivation watch rest of the video where I have explained the exact reason for this error and how you can prevent this same error in future projects. Most probably in future when you are watching this video, you might be using latest .NET framework than from the quick fix. So please watch the complete video to find the solution for this problem independent of the .NET framework you are using. As you can see here, the error is saying that there was an error in running the selected code generator. This error is commonly shown when you are creating your first controller inside a .NET project. And when this selected controller creation template includes scaffolding and entity framework. The whole reason for showing this error is due to the version compatibility with the install and NuGet packages. Click on OK and then close these controller creation windows. Then expand these dependencies here. Inside packages, you could see the install and you get packages for this project. So these three NuGet packages are related to Entity Framework Core and that I have installed manually. And this NuGet package code generation design is auto-installed when you are creating your first controller. Now the reason for the error that we have is because of the version compatibility here. You could already see the version difference in these packages here. So here is the quick solution for .NET 6 and .NET 5 because they are the recent versions while making this video. In order to see which .NET framework you are using, we can double click on this project and then it will open up this file with the extension csproj. Inside this tag target framework, you could see the .NET version you are using. So in this project, I'm using .NET 6. So if you are using .NET 6 framework, I want to install all of these NuGet packages here with this version 6.0.10. So in this project, I want to uninstall this entity framework core package like this. Then open manage and you get packages. Search for entity framework core. So here it is. I will select the same version from this drop down. Then click on install. That's it. It will solve the problem. Now, if you are using .NET 5 framework, install these and you get packages with this version 502. So there is my quick solution if you are using .NET 6 or .NET 5. Now let's find the exact reason for this error and a solution independent of the framework you are using. Before getting into that, I would like to ask you a favor. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel called Affection if you haven't yet. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. We have already done a tons of video in ASP.NET Core. I have given few of them in video description, so please check it out. Now in order to show you the exact reason for the error, I'm going to create a fresh ASP.NET Core Web API project. So here we have the brand new ASP.NET Core Web API project. Now in order to see the .NET framework I'm using here, as I mentioned already, double click on this project and here is the .NET framework I'm using .NET 6. Now let's install the NuGet packages for Entity Framework Core. Inside this browse tab, I will search for Entity Framework Core. Related to Entity Framework Core, I always install three packages, the core package Entity Framework Core, then SQL Server, then Tools. So this is what we normally do. We will select the framework, then we'll click on Install. And let's install these rest of these packages also. By default, inside this version dropdown, the latest version is selected. We are not bothered about versions when we install these in NuGet packages. So that's the main reason for having this error. Now let's install this Tools package. So here we have installed three NuGet packages. You could see that inside these dependencies under this packages node. So these are the three manually installed packages and all of them is having this version 7. Now the error that we have will be shown when we create our first controller using the scaffolding mechanism with Entity Framework Core models. For that, first of all, we need an Entity model and the corresponding DB context class. In order to save the time, I will directly paste the folder models folder here like this. 
So here we have the models folder. Within it, we have the model product. Inside the model, we only have a single property. We are only trying to recreate the problem. So don't bother much about not completing the model here. And here we have the DB context class. In order to consider this class as a DB context, we just need to inherit that from this entity framework core class DB context. So here we have a simple entity framework core model. Now using that, we are going to create a new controller. I want to focus on the install packages here. These three entity framework core packages and the version that currently we have. Now, let's create a new controller. Select API from the left panel and we will select this template here, API controller with actions using Entity Framework. Click on add, select the model that we have created, product, then DB context class. Now I'm gonna click on this add button here. It will start the controller creation process. At the same time, the install and NuGet packages versions might change. So let's see them in action. Boom, busted. Now, as I mentioned already, the reason for this error is version compatibility with these in NuGet packages here. We have manually installed these three entity framework core packages first. While creating our first controller, this package code generation design is automatically installed behind the scene. And the version of the package might be different from the already installed entity framework core packages here. So that's the reason for the error. Now you have witnessed automatic downgrading of these two packages behind the scene while creating the controller and it is done in the background in order to avoid the version compatibility. But the IDE failed to downgrade this core package here to this version of this code generation design. Now let's talk about the solution. Now at this stage in order to fix this problem as I already shown just remove this package and then install the same version as that of this code generation design here. So it's all depend on the version of this package code generation design. Now how can we prevent this error in future projects? For that, I will remove all of these packages here. Now here we have the NuGet packages. First of all, search for the package code generation design. Currently the latest version is 7. Now while creating the controller, this version of the package is installed. Why? It's because of these dependencies here. Currently we are creating this project for .NET 6. There are a lot of versions listed in this drop down. Currently for .NET 6, this is the latest version and that's what being installed automatically once we create a new controller. Now the solution for the problem independent of the .NET framework you are using, find the latest version of this package code generation design for the specific .NET framework you are using. Now suppose you are using .NET 7, then find the latest version of this package for the framework .NET 7. Now not this version, select the same version for entity framework core packages. So here it is, select the same version. Now for this entity framework core package, there is a latest version that of this uh, selected version here. It might work without any version compatibility problem because if you check the package dependencies here, it is for .NET 6 and this latest version is also for .NET 6. Now in order to be certain about not having the error, I will select the same version. Let's install the package and let's select the same version for rest of the packages. Now if you create the controller again, you won't see the same error. I'm not going to try the same inside this project because this DB context class is not complete. There must be a constructor accepting the DB provider and the DB connection string. And also we have to inject the same inside this program.cs file here. From what I understood, you won't get the same error. So I will wind up this video here. For more awesome videos like this, please consider subscribing to this channel. Have a nice day. Bye.